Truth Talk, your source for unbiased daily political news. What's going on YouTube? Probably the biggest story of the day, May the 5th, 2016, is Paul Ryan coming out and saying that he's not going to support Donald Trump as the Republican nominee. Or Let me clarify that. He didn't say one way or the other. So he didn't say that he wasn't going to support him, but he didn't say that he would. I want to show you guys the clip. The clip is a little bit longer. It's about a minute long. And then we'll come back here to discuss it after the clip is over. You have said throughout this process that you will support the Republican presidential nominee. Now you have a presumptive nominee, Donald Trump. Will you support him? Well, uh, to be perfectly candid with you, Jake, uh, I'm just not ready to do that at this point. I'm not there right now. Uh, and I hope to, though. And I want to. But I think what is required is that we unify this party. And I think the bulk of the burden on unifying the party um, will have to come from our presumptive nominee. Um, I don't want to underplay what he accomplished. He, he needs to be congratulated for an enormous accomplishment for winning not now a plurality of delegates, and he's on his way to winning a majority of delegates. But he also inherits something very special uh, that's very special to a lot of us. Uh, this is the party of Lincoln, of Reagan, of Jack Kemp. And we don't always nominate a Lincoln and a Reagan every four years. Um, but we hope that our nominee um, aspires to be Lincoln and Reagan-esque, um, but that person um, advances the principles um, of our party and appeals to a, a wide, vast majority of Americans. All right, so you guys saw the clip of Paul Ryan talking to Jake Tapper on CNN about whether or not he supports Donald Trump. Paul Ryan pretty much said, you know, he can't support him at this time and that maybe he could support him in the future, but it's on Donald Trump to unify the Republican Party. And this is a big topic going on right now in the Republican Party and in politics in general. Is Donald Trump going to be able to unify the Republican Party in a general election? That's the big question now that uh, Donald Trump has secured the Republican nomination. And I don't think anyone really knows the answer to it. Anyone that says they know definitively the answer to it is BSing, I think, because it all depends on whether or not Donald Trump wants to unify the Republican Party. And what I mean by that is, up until this point, Donald Trump is where he is because he has gone against the Republican establishment and people that have uh, been in the party for a long time. I mean, I think in July, less than a month out of uh, announcing his presidential bid, he insulted John McCain for being a POW and said he likes soldiers that who aren't captured. Now, whether you agree or disagree with the statement, that's not what I'm talking. That's not my point of bringing that up. It's just showing that he's been going against the establishment like John McCain, who's been a senator for a very long time and who was a presidential candidate in 2008 for the Republican Party. He's been going against them the whole time. So he might think in his mind, and it might be true that, you know what, I don't want to get all these endorsements from Republican establishment people like Paul Ryan. I've gotten to where I'm at because I've gone against them and I've called out the establishment and called them out as crooked and, you know, called out the Republican primary system rigged. And, you know, maybe he doesn't want to unify them or on the other hand, maybe he does, and he doesn't know exactly how to. And I think that's a, a big question. How exactly is he going to unify the Republican Party? I think a big step forward would be somehow mending the relationship with Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz was the second most successful candidate in the primary. Obviously, he was the last man standing to Donald Trump. And he has a large uh, pool of voters that are very loyal to him. And a lot of people that are in the conservative movement flocked to Ted Cruz because he's a constitutional conservative. I think if he can mend the relationship with Ted Cruz and somehow get Ted Cruz to get on board, maybe not as vice president, I don't think Ted Cruz is going to be his VP pick, but just, you know, endorse him, maybe go on the uh, campaign trail with him, something to that effect, get conservatives on board with him. I think if you can get all the new people that Donald Trump has brought into the Republican Party, all the conservatives that uh, Ted
Ted Cruz appealed to. I think he might have enough to win the general election just with those demographics alone. I mean, in the last uh, couple states of the Republican primary, he was getting somewhere between 55 and 65 percent in a lot of the states that he won. So we're really only talking about 35, 40 percent of the party that is not voting for Trump and maybe 20 or 30 percent of that is voting for Ted Cruz. So the um, establishment Republican vote is minimal. It's probably 10 or 15 percent. Um, at least that's what's reflected in all the states that have voted so far. So I don't know if it's really important for him to get the establishment on board. I guess he could try, you know, to reach out to Paul Ryan and to mend that relationship. I don't know exactly what's going on there. Um, like Jake Tapper said in the beginning of the interview, if you missed it, he said that, um, Mr. Speaker, you've always said that you're going to support the GOP nominee. Do you support Donald Trump? And that's true. He always said he's going to support the GOP nominee. So now he's saying he's not going to support him. I don't know. Who knows exactly why? There's probably a lot of reasons. A lot of Washington politicians don't like Donald Trump. But let me know what you guys think. Um, do you guys think that Trump should unify the Republican Party? Do you think it's his benefit? Do you think he should reach out to people like Ted Cruz? Do you think it's important for him to mend relationships with people like Paul Ryan? Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this video, please drop a like. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, please subscribe.